This is Video Lancer. Today, I will show you a simple hack how in After Effects, without plugins, make tracking and texture over a complex surface. The result is similar to what the Lockdown plugin does, but for this method, we will use only the standard features of After Effects. The main thing is that the surface in the footage should be free of glare, without reflections, and dynamic lighting. Smooth single color surfaces are also not suitable for tracking. Actually, I wanted to share this life hack two years ago, but at that moment, I switched to creating a new fourth version of the Motion Bro plugin and new preset packs for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Now you have access to a new convenient plugin and more than 10,000 free and premium presets for motion design. Visit the MotionBro.com website now and discover tons of ready-to-use video effects you can easily use in any of your video projects. MotionBro, creative assets for video designers and editors. Well, let's start the tutorial. As an example, I'll use this footage with the rock. As you can see, there is no dynamic lighting or glare, and this footage is perfect for tracking. So create a new composition from the footage. Let's call it Main Comp. Primarily, we need to prepare the footage and texture for tracking. In the timeline, select the frame where the texture should be displayed in its original form. In order not to lose this frame, let's put a marker on it. As a texture, we will use a text layer broken into letters. Create the first letter. Turn on 3D mode and transform the layer to match the rock surface on the footage as best as possible. Duplicate the layer. Replace and position the letter so the layer doesn't overlap the climber. Repeat these steps for the rest of the letters. Now, select all text layers and move them to Pre-Compose. Name it Reference Frame. Open the Reference Frame composition. Here we need to get rid of the transparent background temporarily. To do this, add a solid of such a color here, which can then be easily removed using blending mode. For this example, I just use 50% gray. Place the solid layer at the bottom and return to the main composition. Here, below the marker, trim the reference frame layer so it is only one frame long. Select the Footage layer and use the Rectangle tool to create a mask. This mask should entirely and even with a margin cover the texture. It is enough to leave only such narrow holes at the edges of the frame. Invert the mask. Now everything is ready for tracking. For surface tracking, we will use Content Aware Fill. And although this tool is mainly used to remove objects from the video, oddly enough, it is also suitable for the reverse task. That is, to add elements to the video. So open the Content Aware Fill panel. Set Fill Method to Surface. In the settings, ensure the output is set to Photoshop Sequence and Auto Manage is enabled for unused footage. This will save you disk space. Now, click Generate Fill Layer and wait for the process to finish. If you get a similar error during the analysis, make the mask slightly smaller. So, After Effects analyzed the footage and added a sequence with a fill render to the timeline. As you can see, the texture was perfectly projected to the rock surface and very well repeats all the bumps when the camera moved. However, there is a small problem. If you switch the sequence to solo mode, such artifacts may appear at the edges. You can remove this with a mask so that all unnecessary artifacts are always outside the mask. But in some cases, like in this example, these artifacts can fill up most of the frame, and removing them will be pretty difficult. To solve this problem, delete the created fill sequence and follow these steps. Duplicate the reference frame layer, name it Temp Layer, and extend it along the entire work area of the timeline. Add a Set Matte effect to the layer. Select the rock footage as the map, and also select Masks from this list. Now, the visible areas of the footage are covered by the uniform background of our texture. 
and footage fragments will no longer be rendered into the fill sequence. Generate the fill layer again. This time the rendered fill turned out to be clean, without any extra artifacts. This layer is no longer needed. You can remove it. Next, we will remove the background from the fill sequence. On the rock footage, remove or disable the mask. Select the fill sequence and reference frame layers and send them to the pre-compose. Name it Texture Fill. Depending on the background color, select the appropriate blending mode. If you used a black background, select the screen mode. If it is white, then the mode is Multiply. In my case, I select the hard light mode. In this mode, the gray color becomes transparent. Next, we will make the texture fill more realistic. Duplicate the rock footage layer and rename it Mask. Select the mask in the track mat list of the texture fill and turn on the Luma Mat mode. Now add a curves effect to the mat layer and change the contrast so that the texture looks as good as possible. Ready! Now the texture looks very realistic. In some of my examples, there is motion blur, and sharp texture edges may not look very good. To fix this, add some blur effects to the texture fill layer. In this example, the pixel motion blur effect works best. Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss new video tutorials and products for motion design. It was Video Lancer. Bye.